The moment I read metaphors we lead by, I realized the importance they have in perceiving the world around us. It is true, they do not reflect reality, but they can prove invaluable when it comes to creating the right associations that can help us understand this reality better. So I thought, what kind of metaphors could we use while describing the structure of a paragraph? And two associations popped into my mind. We do know that a paragraph is a group of sentences that develop a single idea or topic. It can be explained through the metaphor of a Christmas tree. So, not every tree is a Christmas tree. Usually it is a spruce. Even an artificial tree is similar to a spruce. So, this spruce is the topic sentence. It is what gives unity to the whole concept of a Christmas tree. As said, a spruce is just the topic sentence. In order for it to become a true Christmas tree, it needs decorations. They are going to be the supporting sentences, whose role is to explain the topic sentence. So the idea of the Christmas tree is explained with the help of the decorations. Finally, on top, we have the star. Think about the decoration process. Usually the star crowns everything and is traditionally placed at the end. It could be associated with the concluding sentence in a paragraph. Now, if the tree doesn't have the star on top, it's still a Christmas tree. The main idea has been developed. So we could use this analogy to say that some paragraphs might not need the concluding sentence. The second metaphor I could think of is that of a flower. The floral disc in the center is what keeps the whole flower together, just like a topic sentence in a paragraph in which the main idea is introduced. Now the petals develop that idea and serve the role of supporting sentences. Finally, the bee pollinating the flower can be viewed as the concluding sentence of a paragraph. Again, it's not an obligatory part, so it can do without it. But we do know that for flowers this is important. It can be equally important for a paragraph to have that concluding sentence.